First thing we want to do is shift the boat into neutral in order to take the pressure off of the shift assist. And now we remove the shift assist. First there's a nut on the back side as well as the cotter pin on the front side. We're going to go ahead and pull this pin. Take off the shift assist, set it aside. And then we're going to slide off the upper cable and set that aside as well. Now we're going to remove the lower shift cable and we will just take off the nut on the front side. And the cotter pin on the back side. I'm going to go ahead and remove the cable. While pushing the shift cable in, we want to make sure the prop is locking in the counterclockwise position to make sure that it's locked into gear. While pushing the shift cable in, in the forward position, we're going to measure six inches from the center of the barrel to the center of the hole. So with the tape measure, we're going to start from the one inch mark and we're going to go to the seven inch mark to get our six inches. So it looks like we have exactly six inches. Now, if you didn't have the six inches to adjust for this, you will rotate the barrel either way to get the six inches while it's pushed. Next, we're going to lock down the lower shift cable being that we have our six inches, but first we want to check the mounting stud here to make sure it's fully down in the slot. So as you can see here, it is down all the way down the slot. If it wasn't, you'd have to adjust, you'd have to loosen the nut and adjust it downward. So we're going to go ahead and grab the cable and lock it down. So we'll just take the cotter pin, install it on the back side, and washer and nut on the front side. Now that the nut is tight, we're going to go, go ahead and back off a quarter to a half of turn, as it states in the manual. Lower cable is set, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the top cable. For a standard rotation stern drive, we will put the boat into the forward position at the helm. For counter rotation drives, we'll put the, the helm in the full reverse position. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the shift cable, and we're going to put it into forward, the forward position, being that this is a standard rotation drive that we're installing. Now to remove the lost motion, we're going to go ahead and pull the cable just slightly as we're installing it uh, to fit the, the lower shift cable for those six inches that we've already locked down. So now we're going to go ahead and fit this cable to check for the alignment. And we're going to push the lower shift cable to take that slack out there. Now while taking the pin and checking for the alignment while pulling on the top cable and pushing slightly on the lower cable just to remove the slack. We'll check the check for the pin. And it looks like we're off just by a couple of turns. So we will adjust at the barrel. So now I will tighten the barrel. And it looks like that's it right there. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the top cable and the barrel needs to be rotated four turns away from the cable in guide. And at that point we can go ahead and lock it down. We'll go ahead and grab our shift assist as well. To get everything lined up we're going to need to put the boat into neutral. And in doing so we'll just have to push the shift assist in while we're sliding the pin through. Reinstall the washer and nut on the back side. And the cotter pin on the front side. Now that we have the shift cables hooked up, we're going to check for proper shift adjustment. Since we're in neutral now, we want to check to make sure that we're not getting any engagement at the prop. So it looks like we're good there. Next, we want to shift the helm into forward for a standard rotation, and for a counter rotation, it will be reverse. So now that we're in forward position, the prop is locking, so it looks like we're good there as well. The next step will be to go into reverse at the helm for a standard rotation, and for a counter rotation, it would be forward. And we're going to go ahead and check to make sure that that locks. Okay, looks like we're good there. Now if you are getting ratcheting at the prop, 
and not getting full engagement, you'll need to go to the shift bracket and the stud that we put in the lowest position in the slot, you will have to move that upward until you get a full lock on the prop. Now we are going to be filling the reservoir and to do that properly, we will remove the vent plug first. And at that point, we will add oil to the remote reservoir located inside the boat until we see it coming out at the vent plug hole. Okay, now that the reservoir is full, we're gonna go ahead and insert the vent plug and gasket. And after doing so, we will want to top off the reservoir inside the boat. This is Phil from SEI Marine Products. I just want to thank you for watching this video. Please stay tuned for more videos from SEI's YouTube channel and have a great day.